From South Africa, um, Kalahari Manganese Fields in the northern Cape of South Africa. Here we have a formation of uh, Celestine. Now what's interesting, the guy who mined these uh, around about 2012, he said these were all sitting on the ceiling of the, of the vag they entered. And as they fell, um, he, he was able to extract some. He was obviously not able to take off the ceiling. So you'll, you'll find a bit of contact on, on all of this material, or most of it. Um, lovely uh, uh, long formation of the Celestine crystal sitting on here. A very, very faint blue to grey. Dusting the Celestines would be some manganite. And then associated, typically, I'd expect to find some cal's, uh, tiny cal's hut crystals as well. Can be displayed all the way around. Lovely piece. Size-wise, we're looking at a hand size here. A nice, nice display piece. And a very nice example of this particular pocket. Celestine from this particular pocket in the Channing 2. Or was it a Channing 3 mine? I'll say Channing 2 just for, I think it was Channing 3. The, the Kalahari mines are, are pretty much uh, all interlinking at some point or other underground or be it above. Uh, you'll see the headgear just uh, as you drive outside the little town of Blackrock in the northern Cape of South Africa, about 90 kilos uh, north of uh, uh, Kuruman. And of course, Kalahari manganese fields. Um, let's have a look at the base. I would, I would, uh, I'd prefer this as a point of display. Let's look at the top. Most of the heads are intact. Little bit of contact, but nothing, nothing obtrusive. Really, really lovely specimen. This is how I would display it to to show that vug over there and running across into that vug. But of course, all the way around on a turntable. You even have this is also rather appealing. We have that spray formation like a starburst of the uh, Celestines.